Hello Tranquility fans! Uh, today I thought I'd give you a little solo playthrough of the night and day variant as it currently stands. This is one of the two variants we'll be unlocking with Stretch Goal 1. Uh, so it is uh, you know, possible that the rules will change for this, uh, but this is how things stand at the moment. So I'll talk you through the setup and then you can see how it goes. So this is just all of the island cards as normal shuffled into a big deck. The five finished cards will be going in as normal. Six compass cards will be shuffled in as well. So uh, these are normally used with the Sea Monster mini expansion, but they're being used for another purpose in the night and day variant, which is very good. So all of these will be shuffled in. Let's see, I would do this properly we're about to play. So in the solar game, if you remember, the way that you form the deck is firstly getting all of whatever you need in the, the big deck together first. And you've only got one start card in the solo game. Of course that's consistent because you normally have one start card per player. But then, once you've shuffled everything together, let's say that's shuffled properly, as per normal, well, draw your five first. There's my starting hand. Then split the deck roughly into two, doesn't matter so much. Start card goes into one of them, is shuffled in. Yeah, as per normal, but then in the solo game, so you just shuffle it into the top half, as it were, so you know that the start card is coming out before you're halfway through the game. So that's it, nice and easy setup. Got our starting deck with the five finished cards and the six compass cards in there, and you've got your starting hand of five. Now I'll outline how night and day works if you haven't already uh, seen the summary. Um, so we've got our ordinary 6x6 grid, obviously this is the deluxe playmat that you can get in the pledge manager. Uh, but unlike uh, normal games, you have to orientate your hand correctly. So at the start of the game, everybody's hands are sunny side up. Okay, lovely. And in order to win the game with the night and day variant, you not only have to complete the grid as per normal, and you've got start and finish cards as per normal, but the top half, the that is the top three rows, have to be sun side up, but the bottom three rows need to be night side up. Okay, so for example, 19 down here, I currently have to play uh, the cards out of my hand sunny side up because that's the way we're playing at the moment. So if I were to put a 19 down here, that's fine, that's a legal move, but I cannot win the game like this because it's orientated the wrong way. Being in the bottom half, it needs to be night side up. But like I say, that would be a legal move uh, because you have a new action in the night and day variant, which is discarding a card at any time to rotate one card. So that's your one extra action to compensate this one new uh, me uh, mechanism so if you looked at my starting hand, I actually drew a compass. <laughs> so uh, if we were playing, I would immediately move that off. That's gone into play. Uh, and I would rotate my hand so that it's now night side up and I draw up. And so now I'd be playing with the night orientation up first. So then I could play my 19 the correct way up. That's it. These rules are liable to change, like I say, but uh, as we currently have it, this is the night and day variant coming up next. Okay, here we go. So here's my starting hand of five, and they are all sunny side up. Okay, here we go. So I've got a one, a seven, 33, 52, 77. Okay. Well, uh, so here's the sunny side and this is the night side. So I want to be playing high numbers at this point. So why don't I stick 77 up there? 
Okay, so if I want to carry on in the top half with the sunny side, I've got 61 and 52. So let's try for a 61. Let's go here. No, sorry. All right. Let's go there. Draw up. Okay, compass card. So I now immediately have to rotate my hand. So the compass card goes. These become night side up. And I've drawn a 70. So now I want to be looking to play in this bottom half. So let's start with the number one. Okay, three and seven. And 33 are the numbers I really want to be looking at playing. So I might do a seven in here. Draw up. Got a 26. So let's put in 26 there. Drew an 18. So I might pop down 18 there. Drew a 31. Okay. They're quite close together, they're not right next to each other. Let's do thirty-three there. And there. Okay, drew a fourteen. This is going okay so far. Let's pop fourteen down here. Thirty-nine into hand. So I think we'll put in the 39 up here. Okay, still playing night side. So we drew a 17, that could just go straight in there. I'd have to discard something. Um, I'm gonna just avoid that for now, I think. Oh, I'm gonna have to discard anyway, so let's see, 17 in there. And let's discard the 31. Draw up two. Okay, another compass card, so I need to rotate back to sun side up. Let's draw again. So I've got two, three, 52, 70, and 73. I want to be playing high numbers now. So I could go something like 73. Okay, drew the 63. Let's put the 70 there. Drew the 68. Not bad. Um, I think I'm going to put in 52 next because I don't really want to discard two and I'm not quite sure yet about the gaps. So let's go with 52. Okay, drew the 57, okay. Then I might just pop that in there, I think. All right, this game is going swimmingly so far. Ah, compass card, okay. So rotate back to night side up. And draw back up, I've got the 42. So, this is the table state at the moment. Obviously could play two and three now. However, I'd have to put down the two first. So, down it goes, we'll play the two, and I think we'll discard the 42, because I think we're in better shape in this area than we are up here. So discard the 42. I've got a finish card, two finish cards, okay. All right, well then let's just play the three and discard a finish card. So I've got 12, 27, 63, 68, and a finish card. 12 is a bit no man's land at the moment. 27 is great, so in goes 27. It's next to the 26, so we'll discard another finish card. So I've discarded two so far. So I've drawn a 64 and a 72. Now we're getting 
to a situation here where I have four high cards that I don't want to be playing because they are currently night side up. So I've got two choices really. I could play the 12 down here, which would require discarding two, which I don't really want to do. So I suspect I'm instead going to play a card up here, the wrong way up. So I think 72 will just go in nicely in there. But it's got the night side up. Draw back up. Okay, 48 was the new card. That's okay, that would be coming into, oh no, no, that will be coming into the night side. So we're still in a similar situation. Of course I could just regularly discard two uh, cards here as per normal, however I think we're doing okay so I'd rather maybe play a 64 followed by a 63 at some point, they're the wrong way round but they're in a good place so 64 down. And we have a start card, okay so I have to play the start card, right, let's put them down here. I need to draw another eight. What have we got? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Oh my, seven, eight. Now, this is the brilliant thing about playtesting. So, uh, I started playing this this morning, and I had a couple of situations where we haven't covered yet, worked out what needs to happen. So, one of which is in the solo or two-player game, those are the only two versions of the game where you draw extra cards when playing the start card, which theoretically means you could play the start card and then be drawing an extra compass card, which could, well, should be changing the orientation. Uh, we'll have to see what James says about this. It's my gut feeling that this first compass would have immediately turned them all to sun side up and we carry on drawing back at sun side up. And then we drew another one, so I think that will immediately then return it back to night side up. And that's my ruling at the moment, that may change. Okay, ha! <laughs> also, they get played immediately, so I suspect I would need to draw two more cards as they came out. Okay, we've got a finish, and the 49, okay. So I think we're at night side up at this point, and that means I think there are only two compass cards left. No, only one left. Interesting, this could get tricky now. I've got a lot of the game to go with only one card left, one compass card. And the night side grid is more full at this point. Okay, right, I've already discarded two finished cards, so I can easily discard another. Let's get rid of that. The eight is a great card, so I'll keep that. Don't need the five, that can go. Don't need the 16, that can go. Is there any other any other freebies? Well, 12 is not a great card, so I think that can go as well. So that's four, I need to find another four to go. Okay, 15 also can't be played, so that goes. And here's another new element of strategy from playing this variant. You're not only wanting to try and work out which cards are more useful to go into the grid, but you also now have got to think about, okay, uh, how much of the game am I going to be playing on the night side and the dark side? How is the board looking in terms of... Uh, yeah, it's just tricky. Hmm. I mean, 38's a great card, so let's keep that for now. Um, 63 is pretty decent, but I think I've got more gaps on the sun side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, definitely. However, we're drawing all of those numbers anyway. Okay, then I think we'll keep the 48 and the others will have to go okay and then draw up and we are still night side up this could be interesting so 8, 23, 38, 63 and 48 
And we're playing in the bottom section, ideally. Is there anything I would happily discard? No. I think we'll pop the 8 down and discard the 23. Getting a little bit scared about this gap, but anyway, we'll see. True the 44 and 65. Okay, so I've now got 65, which is really good for there, 63, which is really good for there, 38 is really good for there. And we want to be playing in this bottom section, so if I discard 30, if I play 38 and maybe discard 44, because I think the 43 just went, so let's get rid of the 44. So we've got a 22 and a 25. Better, much better. Okay, let's have the 25 down and I will have to discard. Ooh, we'll go with the 65, I think. So it is a good card, but I think I've got more cards in that range. I don't get rid of the 63. And I've already discarded two cards in the 40, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. So it is going to be the 65 that goes. Okay, and there's a 47. And 76. And now we're getting a little bit tight. I don't really want to play the 22. Um, so I either need to pay, play something in the sun side the wrong way, or I could now start trying to rotate cards the wrong way round. At the moment we've got two up here. 22 is not a great card, so I'm going to pay the 22 to rotate the 72. And I've drawn 19, hooray, that is good. We want that one, so let's put that straight in there. <laughs> and we'll discard the 76. I'm pretty sure there's some numbers in between there still left. As you'll have noticed, I don't have a great memory. And the final compass, okay, right. So we're back to sunny side and will be for the rest of the game. That's probably all right. Got th only three gaps in the night side up. So we've now got 11, 30, 47, 48, and 63. Okay, and we want to be playing up here, obviously. So, if we play, hmm, interesting, 63, and I think I'll discard the 11. It's not a great card. Got a 74, sun side up, and 55. 55 is right in no man's land for that pile. So, I think we'll go 48 in here. Drew the 79, which might be useful. Could go up in the top corner. Okay, however, 30 is a bit rubbish, and it's the wrong way round at this point. 55, 74, okay. Well, we're definitely keeping the 74, because I discarded the 76. So I'm going to go 74 and riskily discard the 79. I think there is still at least one card for up there. So what we've got, we've just drew the 45 and the 58. 58 is a nice card. 47, 45 we do not need, so let's put the 47 down, 45 goes, 29 and 21, we have no need for the 21, so that could be used to pay for something, so let's put the 58 down, and off goes the 21, so we've got 24 and 60, and we do not need the 60, so, we could play, yeah, this is where it starts getting tricky, so I could put the 55 down here and I would let go of the 24 and the 60, so I guess we'll do that. 60 goes, 
24 goes. So I've got, <laughs> there's the 78, okay, good. 34 and 41. 41 we have no need of, 34 we have no need. So let's put the 78 up there and get rid of the 41. What we got? Okay, the fourth finish card, I believe. So I could discard that one. And the four, which we don't need. Okay, now I'm back to all low numbers, and that's the wrong wrong orientation, but I think we're in good shape. One, two, three, four, five, six to go, and I've got quite a stack of deck to go. So let's see. I could probably get away with putting the 20, uh, you know what, I will discard the four and rotate for now. So let's rotate the 64. Drew 62, which I do not need. Do we need any cards rotating at this point? We don't, but we're going to probably be putting, putting cards down the wrong way round for most of the rest of the game. Um, okay, then we'll go 29 in here, which requires two discards. So, don't need the 62, we don't need 34. I'm going to keep the finish card. I don't want to wait for ages to finish the game if I do it early. So we've got 30, 51, 67, 80, and a finish card. We don't need the 80. 67 is good because we've still got two gaps to fill here. 51 is perfect for there. So in that goes, and we'll pay with the 80. So we've got the 36 we don't need, and the 56 we don't need. Uh, but I'm scared about playing up here because I don't want to, if I've discarded a few cards in that range, I don't want to put 67 here and find out that I then get the 66 and I've already discarded stuff, things that would go there. So I'm going to play the wrong way up, 30 I think, and discard just the one, so that's the 36, don't need it. Got the 28 and 59, right, getting cards I don't really need at this point. I don't need any of those except the 67, so let's discard the 28 to rotate. Got a 32, which I don't need. Let's discard the 32 to rotate. So I think they're all facing the right way, as far as I can see. Drew the 37, which I also don't need. So I'm going to discard the 56 and the 59 in the regular manner. And I get a 75 and a 40, which I don't need. Let's discard them. Six and 35 I don't need, okay. Good, I've finally, I've been holding the cards here. I hadn't noticed I was missing a card down here. Gonna have to go the wrong way round, but we now have the nine, so that's really good. So let's put the nine down and pay for it with the 46 we don't need. So 37, 53, 54, 67, and a finish card. Let's pay the 37 we don't need to rotate the nine. 66, that is good news. So I can now finish the game, I think. So if I place the 66 here. I'll pay with the 53 and 54. And the 67 goes down, pay for it with 20. Technically draw up, just make one final check to see that everything's round the right way. It is, down goes the finish card. So there you have it, there's your night and day variant as it currently stands. So I had four cards left in hand uh, including the last finish card and two spare. So quite close, but obviously I'm brilliant at this game, so I had to win. Okay, thanks guys.